Lynchburg, Virginia is a beautiful city just east of the Blue Ridge Mountains. There is a ton of history here, including memorials honoring the men and women who have served our country. It's also home to World War II hero Desmond T. Doss, whose life was documented in the Hollywood film Hacksaw Ridge. This is hidden history we can all learn from. Desmond T. Doss was drafted into the Army in 1942. His beliefs forbade him from killing another human being or even carrying a gun. He served as a medic, which allowed him to fulfill his military obligations without ignoring his beliefs. Stephen Doss is the principal at the Desmond Doss Christian Academy and tells us more about Doss. So Steve, tell me about the, the Desmond T. Doss Christian Academy. We're a K through 10 school, and so our school kind of lets our students be who they are. A lot of them have trouble fitting in the, the larger school environments and come here to try to get back on track. Tell me what you know about Desmond Doss. I got to meet him the first time in 97. It's the selflessness of Desmond. He cared more about others than he did himself with the, thing, the situations that he put himself in. So we kind of live by the mantra of John 13, 34, 35. You're known to be one of his by the way you treat others. And I don't know of any greater example than Desmond. And that is kind of the core of, of our school. While serving with his platoon in 1944 in Guam in the Philippines, Doss was awarded two Bronze Star Medals for exceptional valor in aiding wounded soldiers under fire. During the Battle of Okinawa, he saved the lives of wounded infantrymen atop the area known as Hacksaw Ridge. He was awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions in Okinawa. David Jarrett is the head of the Desmond Doss VFW. Well, the Veterans of Foreign Wars is consisting of veterans who have served in a combat environment, received hostile fire. What we do as an organization, we gather those people. They uh, share in camaraderie. We may have all taken our uniforms off, but we haven't quit taking care of soldiers. What is your understanding of um, what he did in, in Okinawa? They were relieving a unit that had taken it serious hits. So when they got to the top and they started moving forward, that's when everything changes. When they open up on you and people start falling and people start running and there's very few moving forward, but the ones that do fall. And there's one guy that continues to move forward and take care of those who have fallen. That, that's Doss. And he did that all night long. Doss disobeyed orders, going back into the firefight to rescue as many men as he could before he either collapsed or died trying. There's discussion about whether it was 50, whether it was 75, yeah. whether it was 100. When they settled on 75 souls saved, that's a pretty significant number, and uh, that's why we talk about them today. The Doss legacy continues to this day. There are tributes to him all throughout Lynchburg in honor of Doss and to help the military community. Tom Curran's organization, the Lynchburg Area Veterans Council, is doing some amazing work in honor of Doss. So Tom, how does this home that, that services veterans, how does that embody who Desmond Doss was? Desmond Doss was a medic, wouldn't touch a weapon. He was a healer. This home and helping veterans today is kind of a living memorial to his service, his dedication, his faith, and the healing aspect of what the man stood for. He helped heal people. And we believe that this house is helping to heal veterans who were experiencing homelessness. So this is the room that sort of honors Desmond Dawson, there's some things on the wall here. Tell me what we have here. This is a copy of his Medal of Honor citation presented to him on October 12, 1945 by President Harry Truman. And of note, it says it was far above and beyond the call of duty what he did. Yeah. And it's my understanding, this is the first Medal of Honor citation there, have that put in it. Well, that's an actual photograph of what is called Hacksaw Ridge. That's Desmond Dawes standing on the top. I see this photo here. That's uh, Harry Truman presenting him with the Medal of Honor on October 12, 1945. And so then we dedicated this house on October 12, yeah. 2019, 74 yeah. years later to the day, to the day. that yeah. that event occurred. So wow. I'm kind of proud of that. Putting this room here in this in this home and you know, having these on display um, just really speaks to how you all are honoring Desmond Doss. Why is the Desmond Doss story so important today? I think for the values and it shows what commitment and faith can do with you. I think Desmond's a great example. He's just an ordinary person if you study his life just an ordinary person that went to do great things for humanity, I believe that's true of all of us. Desmond Doss, who was nearly court-martialed for his objections, is a true American hero. His story shows us that heroes come in all shapes and forms. So the next time you're in Lynchburg, Virginia, make sure to take the time to explore this beautiful city 
and learn more about this hidden history. Thank you.